The next challenge is about teamwork, recruitment, and leadership. True leadership shows up under pressure. Do you know how to lead a team? <laughs> All right, good lunch. Yep. Yes. Feeling good? Thank you. All right, we're not gonna talk uh, a whole lot about the videos, but we did review all the videos. And, and finally, I can say a front runner, I did not expect this at all, but um, my front runner right now, at least, is Stacy. Uh, she did a very good job with her video, and so took the coach. And so this next challenge is about leadership and recruiting. And if you wanna impact more people, if you wanna build a bigger life, you have to learn leadership skills. And so we're gonna be breaking you into two different teams. I want you to pick your two leaders. Go. I'll step up as the rooster. I'll step up. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're done. Okay, we're done. Okay. Wow, okay. So who are the two leaders? The rooster. Carol and Chris. Okay, so Chris and Carol, you're our two finalists. Congratulations. Hi. Now, how would you feel if that was the case? You don't know. You have no idea. Now, how many of you believe that you are a leader? Then why was that decision so easy? I mean, why, sh why shouldn't they be the two finalists if the decision was made that easily? I, I wanted to, but I, I second-guessed myself. Um, okay. I feel like the decision was made by the time I had already gotten to the outer circle and by the time I stepped my foot there, the group was already breaking. Where's your voice that says, wait a right. minute? That's what I second-guessed myself so on. So it's okay to second-guess yourself but it's not okay to second guess yourself and not take action. And so I want you to understand, no one is going to don you a leader. And so I just want, how is second guessing you costing you money? How is it costing you everything that you want in your life? Cool. Comfort is your enemy. It is. You have to kill it. it. You have to assassinate it. Yeah. You have to kill comfort. This is probably the biggest challenge I've ever had because there's so little that I really can control outside of my own activity. There is more to know and more to do and more impact outside of my comfort zone. The difference between the person that no one has ever heard of and the person that they do is both people felt uncomfortable at some point in their life, but one took action, one did. We want you to play to win anywhere in life. They drop you off in some country you've never been to and you build an empire. And so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna pick the your first in command. Here's how this is gonna work. You're gonna pick one person, and that person will be picking the next person, so on and so forth in the same exact manner, all right? Yep. Carol, you get the first choice. Okay, I pick Stacy. Chris, who's your first pick and why? I'm gonna go with Kim because there was a moment in my career where I should have st stood up for a situation that came through and I saw that just happen here and I want to help you through that and push you forward through this. So is it because you feel sorry for her? Yeah, so as a team, I feel sorry for you? No, not sorry, just I've been there, I know what that feels like, and I just want to help her. It's not out of sorrow, no. So are you are you, are you playing to win? Yeah. Or are you playing to be the nice guy? Is a team nice guy? Going to win. What skill set does Kim possess, and maybe you still have that in mind, that you would want on your team? Yeah, I mean, I saw her being outgoing the little time I got to know her being willing to talk to people randomly and just getting conversations going. I mean, when I first met her, it was a really good click. So I just felt that click. And I know in a team dynamic, you need that click. See how that's much different than yes. I, I want to okay. help way, you? Way better. way better, way better. What's your thoughts there? Yeah, so I feel a little um, coddled. Like, I want to know that somebody wants me. I want to feel wanted. Sorry. I want to know that you know I possess every single skill that's going to dominate and help us win. Are you that leader for me, Chris? Absolutely. I'm going. She's okay. tough, man. Good. She's got her story. She's got a fire. Oh. There's for sure. All right. My turn? Your turn, yes. I'm going to pick um, Tracy. Do it. OK. Chris and I collaborated, and we would like to work with Shelly. Kim? Yes. Why should we pick you? Well, Pitch I Pitch me. OK, Ray. You know what? I want to know why you and Jessica aren't very big on LinkedIn right now, because 
The truth is, I studied you guys during our lunch break, okay. and right now you have 81.4 thousand viewers on your Instagram, and you also have 295 thousand people on your Facebook page, but you have 117 people on LinkedIn. That is an untapped market. And right now, I am the badass video marketer that I can be because I learned from you from the 14 day challenge. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that badassness, I'm gonna go to LinkedIn, and I'm gonna build every traditional brick and mortar business and send them to the Higdon Group to grow their own business. Oh. I deserve to be here. All right, someone's playing the way. Wow. She did. I, I just got a little giddy. Just got a little giddy from that. The only tweak I have is video marketing, what specifically with video marketing, but loved it. Loved it. Very nice. Okay. I would like to pick Cindy. <laughs> Patty, would you join us? Your energy is so incredible, so we'd love to have you with us. Sounds good. Ready nice. to go? Maureen. I would like to invite you to be a part of our team. Okay, let's drop this. <laughs> I'm ready. No questions? <laughs> nope. I'm good. I, I am just curious. I do, ha I do have a question. So, Maureen, uh, why don't you feel you were picked sooner? I'm just curious. Um, most of my life I've been picked last, but I know I can lead from anywhere, so it doesn't bother me. Like, I can grow from where I'm planted, so I don't really care when I'm picked. I'm competitive, but at the same time, as long as it, I don't have to be number one, as long as we're all learning together and helping each other out, that's that's what makes being here worthwhile. I like the answer, and I like that you're going to challenge yourself. Uh, okay, so I accept. Okay, awesome. going over there. All right, awesome. Do it, guys. All right, so this next challenge is the final challenge, where we will be picking the two finalists. One person from the winning team will go on as a finalist and we will be able to pick the second person from either team. And so this is a sales challenge. So we will be taking you downtown Fort Myers and you will be selling a certain item, which we'll share with you here in a minute. And so how it's gonna work is each of you will have five minutes to go out and do your best to sell this particular item on the streets of downtown Fort Myers. Now, you'll have five minutes to go out there, one each person, time. one at a time. You will come back and have 60 seconds to share the information with the next person in line, and they will go out for five minutes, so on and so forth, until we are done. Also, avoid Ford's garage. They do not like us right now. We want to avoid that particular place, okay? I'll pull you out of there if you go in there. Yes. Even if you're about to swipe for a sale, I'll, I'll pull you out. Yeah. That's the rule. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to introduce our product and our product creators who are very near and dear to our hearts. And we are very lucky to have them, Jeff and Tyler Lusk. Yes. Hello. So today you get the honor of taking this bag out on the street. We call it our show off bag. We say that it shows off your brand, your business, or your bling, whatever you got in here. But this is all interchangeable. So this bag opens up and this little insert comes out. We made them reversible, so if they're not blingy, they can just be lacy uh, if they're not if they're not into it. So it's a really functional, fun, easy bag. We retail this normally for $60. You're gonna be able to sell it for $40, so it is, a we feel, a very, very good deal. We have sold hundreds of these bags at $60, so you can legitimately tell people that they, these are at a massive discount. This is the final challenge, so rock and roll. And uh, may the odds be forever in your favor. 